And we've been keeping track of the local lawmakers and others responding to the protests on social media. Devin Bartolotta is joining us now with more on that. Devin, you spoke with Congressman Steve Scalise today. Yeah, Katie, Representative Steve Scalise told me he was in a secure location with House and Senate leadership, working with the Secretary of Defense and Vice President to get things under control, and he is furious. The images are stunning and the condemnation was swift. As an angry mob of Trump supporters closed in on the Capitol, Louisiana's elected officials evacuated and took to Twitter. This is wrong. It is absolutely wrong. It is un-American, period. They should stop, period. This is about our country. It is not about hooligans. Senator Kennedy wrote in part that he will, quote, not be intimidated by a mob that confuses chaos and destruction with strength and wisdom. Representative Mike Johnson from Louisiana's 4th District condemned the acts, tweeting, quote, any individual who committed violence today should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Republican Representative Clay Higgins urged protesters to stand down, tweeting, quote, this must end now. This is not American. Kennedy, Johnson, and Higgins all said they would object to confirming the votes of the Electoral College Wednesday, aligned with protesters' belief that the election results should not be accepted. But officials condemned the violence that led to this riot inside our nation's epicenter. I think all of us need to condemn this in the strongest terms. All of us, Republicans and Democrats, uh, you know, people, uh, people who stormed the Capitol are not protesters. They're, they're, that's anarchy. And I decried that during the summer when we saw anarchy uh, during the uh, during the post George Floyd uh, protests. There was no place for it then, there's no place for it today. Still, the congressman said that anarchy would not change his decision to object to the election results. Does that still stand tonight? That, that's correct. And we also heard from local elected officials today. Mayor Cantrell tweeted that we should pray for our country. And even the Pelicans head coach, Stan Van Gundy, has been very vocal, calling it a shameful day for our country. And just within the last hour or so, Senator Kennedy became one of very few senators to object to Arizona's electoral votes. Back to you.